just dismiss an employee with less than two years employment? Apologies, I'm a lawyer, so I'm going to give you a classic lawyer's answer, maybe. The right not to be unfairly dismissed is a key right for your employees, but it's a little more nuanced than that. There's a difference between ordinary and automatic unfair dismissal. For ordinary unfair dismissal, absolutely, you need at least two years continuous employment, so you've got more freedom for that point just to dismiss somebody. From two years onwards, you need a fair reason to dismiss. Most often that's redundancy, conduct or capability, but there are a couple of other reasons as well. You also need to show you follow a fair procedure. In most cases, that's going to need some kind of investigation or preliminary stage with your employee and then a meeting before you dismiss them. On the other hand, you've got automatically unfair dismissal. That attaches to day one rights. So that means that no matter how short of time your employee has been employed by you for, they can potentially bring this claim against you. You're looking here at protected characteristics under the Equality Act. Things like gender, sexual orientation, age, disability, all of those give your employees extra protection. Similarly, if someone's blown the whistle about something they say has been happening, either within your business or elsewhere, they're protected against dismissal and mustn't be dismissed because they've blown the whistle. In either case, you need to remember your employee's notice. Even if they've got under two years service, they're still entitled to either their contractual notice or their statutory notice. And if you're close to the anniversary of two years, there are special statutory rules that can pull an employee over the line. So if you're contemplating dismissing someone who hasn't got two years employment, there are three things I'd suggest you do. First, check their start date and make sure you're not so close to the anniversary that the automatic pull through rules might apply. Secondly, have a meeting with them. Keep your powder dry and try to flush out any potential problems there might be. Lastly, take advice if you've got any concerns following that meeting, or if you haven't, go ahead, confirm your decision in writing, paying them their notice and holiday pay.